It's a calm day on the water and a great day for boating and for generally enjoying the Ladysmith Harbor. Of course, if you're capsized and at the mercy of the current, that enjoyment can quickly turn into a dangerous situation. And that's when Ladysmith's arm of the Royal Canadian Marine Search and Rescue speeds in. We are the first uh, marine rescue responders that are available in the area. They're, we're in a marine community. We're in a boating area. There's a lot of marine traffic, both tourist and commercial, and we're available for them 24-7 to provide them with marine rescue service. The rescue scenario here is a training exercise, and quite often weather and water conditions aren't this gentle. So the team trains with safety as a first priority. As soon as this boat's clear, we're going to start a run. Okay, guys. Our stop assess plan. Karen? No debris or lines in the water. Okay, copy that. Thomas? Uh, seas calm and no wind. Okay, copy that. Seas calm. Michael? Clear aft. Roger that. Clear aft. Clear to port. And going on uh, on uh, regular calls, it's uh, usually for somebody who's either run on, into a rock or they're out of gas or, or their, their power doesn't work. And unlike being on a highway where you can just pull over or get a tow truck handy, um, rather than leave it on the side of the road, you're going to drift with the current or with the waves. And next thing you know, they, they may be drifting out onto a rock. And then, of course, lives and, and property are in danger. The team is always looking to grow. Karen Bowen is a newer member, and although currently the members are mostly male, she and the organization want to encourage both men and women to consider joining. There's nothing to compare to being on the water. I'm nine months into the training. Um, we train in the Ladysmith pool, we train in the classroom upstairs in the boathouse, and we train out on the water. The training we get is certified by Transport Canada, and it's in areas such as navigation, first aid, uh, boat handling, boat safety. It's incredible training. There's various levels. There's crew members, there's advanced crew, and there's coxswains. Coxswains are the people that actually, uh, they navigate the boat. They're in charge of the missions we go on. Uh, training, we're trained in first aid. We're trained in search and rescue, uh, navigation, uh, anything that could make us safe getting to, uh, getting to the calls. Gentlemen, any issues, any injuries? We'll have you aboard in a moment. We're going to come on and put you on our port side. To be a good fit for the rescue team, there are only a few stipulations. Well, first of all, you have to you have to have a desire. You have to like the water. You have to be uh, able to uh, work in teams, uh, good communication, good cooperation. Um, generally, for new crew members, you're looking at about two evenings a week. Uh, and uh, some of it is theory and uh, practical experience. And then there's also the, the boat handling and, and uh and mock, uh, mock rescues. Okay, you want to grab his other arm? Okay, okay. He's pulling you over. Formerly known as the Coast Guard Auxiliary, the Royal Canadian Marine Search and Rescue Team here handles an average of 50 calls per year. No injuries? No injuries. Okay, okay. You just you want to sit, sit there? Here your yep. Don't move. We get your buddy. And in order to keep on call around the clock, they are in need of a new boat. The Ladysmith and District Marine Rescue Society is actively fundraising for one. Well, our current boat is reaching the end of its lifespan. We've raised $275,000 through gaming grants and local fundraising. We need another $52,000 to pay for our brand new vessel, which we're currently building at this time. The new vessel will offer greater range, more deck space, and a smoother ride. For now, the old boat still serves from Dodds Narrows to Salt Spring Island. To find out more, to donate, or to become a crew member, visit www.rcmsar29.com. On the water in Ladysmith, I'm Derek Johnstone.